Hi, I'm Julianne Guthrie Smolson. I am spiritual alchemy energy. I am an author. I am a podcaster. I do woo woo stuff. I love my woo woo stuff. Um, one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm writing a blog. So I'm also a blogger now. And in my blog, I am channeling things. So I'm going to start sharing these on my YouTube um, and other channels. So maybe I have a wider audience because people just don't seem to like to read anymore. Um, especially on social media, everybody's video, video, video. So I want to share the Sumerian star map that I channeled. Um, you can go and check out what this thing is. Um, my channeling session, the first thing I saw is a midnight black sky with the stars that look brighter than what we see today in the night sky. The stars have a silver, silvery white glisten. There is a man working outside. So, my main psychic powers are visions and feelings. So, I feel, see, um, and I'm clairaugnant, which means I just have a sense of knowing. Um, so, this is a scene that I'm, like, getting a download. I'm channeling this um, from that time in history when he was outside. And this is, you know, like, me being a, an observer of that historic energy that's still happening is, you know, time and space all exist at once. So, um, he's, um, outside on some flat, a flat stone surface. He is wearing something that looks like a Roman, what a Roman would wear, a short robe wrapped with a tied belt. He is wearing a head garland of golden leaves. To be honest, this channeling struck me as odd. So I had to kind of put it down and I had to go back to it the next day. Um, this man had a large wooden tool that was arched at the bottom. So I, I, I sketched this out and it's in my blog. Um, It was arched at the bottom. So the arch was about two or three feet, a foot or two tall and pointed downwards. So the, the ends of the arch would rest parallel to the ground. At the center of the arch was a straight piece of wood that somehow connected to, was some sort of tongue and groove construction. I couldn't make it out, it was kind of fuzzy. So, but this is how it was constructed. The straight piece of wood was about three feet long that connected to a smaller arch with the mouth facing upwards. This felt like a raw rudimentary tool for observing and studying the stars. Perhaps this would be similar to a compass because I did feel that this man was using this wooden to tool to view the stars. I saw him walking from a residence, which seemed like it was in a cave or a uh, a stone constructed building that wasn't too far from where he was observing. Um, he was walking around this, um, this area where this tool was and he was observing the stars and, um, I see him using the instrument. There is another piece to this tool and it is a wooden rod. So the smaller arch at the top had, it's like a, a pull stick, you know, a pull, you know, when you play pool. And so this piece seemed to, he used, seemed to stick it in here and maybe uh, point it at the stars for different angles. Um, 
So let's go down here. Then he was also, um, he was using that stick to mark positions on this round clay tablet. He was very concerned with what is in the upper middle left quadrant of this tablet. Somehow it is connected to the information that he is writing down on this tablet. I tried to hold the tablet in my hands. I did ask if this tablet was used for any travel or navigation by land or sea. It was not. This did serve another purpose to track the slight variations in the sky with the stars because not just the planets. This doesn't make sense. My writing's terrible. Sometimes I don't edit and I don't correct myself. Um, the stars would indicate aspects that would affect what was on the tablet. The tablet was done at that time so that this person can could compare it to the sky over time so this is important because this is exactly um what historians think the sumerian um tablet was was that um it was a period of time in which um he was recording different a few different um times where something was happening in, in the sky um, but this man did have a passion for this and I just felt it like this was, he loved looking at the stars and observing the stars and, um, doing this particular work. Uh, so Go look up the Sumerian star map. It's pretty interesting um, to find out, you know, not just about this, but other things that we really don't know about in history. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you come back. I I have different things that I've um, channeled, and I, I plan to channel a lot more than this. Um, so... Hope to see you back here.